Hey guys, David here and welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at these two machines once again. You've probably seen them on my channel before. They're the Ortur Laser Masters, uh, first and the second generation. And I quite liked them, uh, especially like the frame is very well built and works quite well. But the laser diodes themselves leave a bit to desire, which is okay for the price uh, point that they are at. Uh, at like sub $200, uh, they do a very fine job. But if you want to like get a really good diode laser engraving machine, I partnered up with Endurance. Uh, they are kind enough to sponsor this video. Uh, and I'm going to be installing their 10 watt plus laser. It's uh, quite a powerful laser. The 10 watts of this are the laser output. Uh, whereas even the 20 watt version here is more around like 6 or 7 watt actual laser output. So there will be a laser output increase so uh, I can cut some more stuff. But mainly the bigger interesting point is the laser beam quality improvement. On the endurance 10 watt plus I got a lot better focus point uh, clarity. Like it's much more of a point where here the focus point is more of a line. Uh, so, especially cutting operations like cutting plywood and stuff is going to be a lot easier with the 10 watt plus from Endurance. Now, while Endurance offers a wide range of lasers uh, from lower wattage for quite inexpensive prices up to the 10 watt plus and even uh, crazier models, uh, they do cost quite a lot more than even this machine. The 10 watt plus uh, costs like two or three times the price of the entire laser master. So I will also uh, take a look at if it is worth it to spend this much more on uh, your laser if you really get that much better of a result. So I guess all that's left to do is uh, measure out, like take off the old laser, uh, make a little adapter plate to mount the laser and do some testing. Alright, so as you can see, I have completed the conversion. It was actually pretty straightforward. Uh, the only thing I had to do was uh, drill some new holes in the acrylic plate uh, that the uh, laser was mounted to. That was very straightforward. Just me measured them on the laser, drilled the holes and uh, bolted the endurance laser to the already existing plate. That didn't take more than like 10 minutes. And then the wiring is also quite straightforward. Uh, of course, uh, I unplugged the laser here and then I took out the controller board uh, here by just uh, taking out uh, the screws here 
and uh, the pins are actually been labeled. Uh, what you need is the PWM pin for the laser plus a ground pin. That's all you need uh, to control your endurance uh, laser. And I just soldered on some uh, wires so I can uh, plug in the connectors there and hooked that up to the controller box of my 10 watt plus endurance laser. Then I uh, just fed the cables all along, uh, the other cables uh, tied them together to make it look at least somewhat neater. It's gonna look a bit messy since there's a whole bunch of cables now, but that uh, should be fine. I also hooked up this hose here, which goes uh, to a, a small hobby air compressor uh, that uh, goes through this uh, clear tube and here to this air nozzle, and that's my air assist. That's the other big uh, upgrade that I recommend, uh, even if you don't uh, go and upgrade the, this laser. If you want to do any sort of cutting, get an air assist. Uh, especially for wood cutting, it makes all the difference in the world. Like these pieces here, uh, they, I have not cleaned the surface of them at all. Uh, there was also no tape over top of them while cutting. It's just their assist blowing away all the smoke uh, means that there is basically no smoke residue on the surface. I mean, of course, the sides are still charred because they can have been burned away, but uh, it looks a lot cleaner than without an air assist. For just engraving purposes, I usually don't turn it on since there's not really a point, but for cutting, it's superb. Then in the software, I did have to make some small tweaks and that is that uh, at least this controller uh, for the laser does not quite accept S values uh, all the way to the max. The S value is the power value for the laser. On the Ortur, this goes from 0 to 1000, which is the maximum power. Um, but uh, for my unit here, I set it to 0 to like 850, 900, something in that range, and that gave me the full power range. If I go above uh, that, then the laser doesn't output more power, but actually turns off or starts pulsing and stuff. Uh, but that's uh, just something uh, due to the controller. I'm not 100% sure if that's uh, the case on all endurance uh, laser controllers or just on the 10 watt plus model. Now, if you were to convert uh, the original uh, laser master for more to the smaller version that I have here, uh, the procedure would be largely exactly the same. Uh, it supports a very similar uh, acrylic plate that you could drill new holes for and mount the laser on. And the controller uh, is actually exactly the same. So it would not be any different really, the conversion. You just have to keep in mind that you cannot mount the really heavy 10 watt plus laser on this uh, style as uh, it would make uh, the whole laser tip over as it's a lot heavier than the original unit. You can also notice that wait a bit that if the acceleration moves are set relatively fast uh, by default and with the heavier laser on here uh, you can uh, kind of notice the table shaking so you could uh, kind of dial those acceleration moves down ever so slightly to make sure that uh, nothing moves uh, when there's uh, accelerations but the motors handled it no problem whatsoever. And that basically leads me to, well, the main reason why you would even mount a Nurn's laser onto uh, the machine like this, and that's the performance, of course. And, well, it's exactly uh, what you'd expect. It's the performance of the Endurance 10 Watt Plus laser with the great controller and uh, frame of the Ortur Laser Master. Uh, I made uh, some uh, cuts here. I cut out uh, this tree here. It's a uh, three millimeter plywood. I cut it in a single pass at uh, around 160 millimeters a minute. Uh, you could probably get away with like 180, but I wanted to make sure that it's perfectly cut through everywhere. And just focus the laser perfectly to the top of the board and then it cut through. And also with this endurance laser, like at this distance, uh, the spot is basically exactly a point, uh, which is what makes the huge difference to the very oval uh, line-esque uh, spot uh, of the laser master. So uh, the cuts in X uh, and in Y direction are both uh, about the equal power and uh, both go through perfectly. Now, of course, engraving also still works. Uh, there's not really a big difference there. 
uh, the sp speed is more limited by the, the frame itself. Uh, on the or tour uh, with the or tour laser module, I was already not engraving at 100% power, so uh, the engraving still looks basically the same. Uh, uh, but it still works perfectly fine, and uh, the speed is also the same, which is great because. Uh, on my uh, converted 3D printer, engraving images like that takes forever because the controller kind of like stops a little bit whenever it's uh, turning on and off the laser, which is a huge pain. But this controller, of course, is made for laser engraving and that's why it's handling that a lot better. So if you want to see even more in depth what uh, this laser can do, you can check out my dedicated review of uh, the 10 watt plus endurance laser. Uh, and I do a lot more different materials and other testing in the and you can get a better idea there. Uh, I didn't bother redoing all the tests uh, as it still is the same lazy module, just on a different motion platform. But now let's talk about the elephant in the room. If you go onto the Endurance website and wanna buy a 10 watt plus laser, this is gonna set you back, depending on what kind of sale uh, they have going on, at least over $500 and that's a lot of money considering that even the like highest end uh, version of the Ortura Laser Master is like half that price. And with that you don't even get the frame included, you still need to buy that in addition. So is it really worth uh, the higher price? Now of course you can also get cheaper endurance laser, but even like the 4 or 5 uh, watt versions which will be about equal in power uh, just higher quality than what's already on there are basically the same price as the, this entire machine. Now, if you think of it as having this machine and then upgrading it, uh, this is a huge cost increase for not that much uh, of performance increase. And it's really hard to swallow, especially if you like get into it uh, I just wanted to get started with laser cutting and uh, you're on a budget, then this is gonna be too expensive for you and not really worth it. But if you look at it from the other side, you know you want a high performance uh, laser, uh, diode laser, and you look at the endurance lineup and you think, yeah, that's the kind of laser I want, uh, but you need a motion platform. If you look at it from that way, then you can get the cheapest one, the seven uh, watt version of this, and which is like 180 bucks and that's not that much of a cost increase over the laser module if you come from that uh, perspective and in that case uh, the Ortrua Laser Master in my opinion is one of the best platforms you could mount this laser to. Now one thing that you still need to do uh, is add the enclosure round which I think I'll be actually be doing, uh, I'll keep the laser on this platform as the controller is much better and the bigger working area also uh, could benefit me in quite a bit of projects. So I'll probably make another video about uh, building the enclosure around it and everything, uh, but that'll uh, probably be a while till that's out. And with that, I don't want to bore you any longer. Uh, I think I've covered most of it. If there are any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments and I'll try to uh, get back to you on those. And uh, if you want to check out uh, Endurance, I will have a link down below. Uh, one thing, and thanks uh, to them for sponsoring uh, this kind of showcase. Uh, and uh, if you like the video, leave a like down below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. And I will see you next time.